Hey, y'all, and we back, y'all. What in the world is going on, y'all? All the black men's going to jail. The rich one, the poor one. They going to jail, y'all. You got dirt. About to get life in prison. You got P. Diddy. He ain't never been in jail this long. He in jail. And then you got a group of old heads they just arrested in Shady County on a drug trafficking bus. What is going on? Check this out. Tonight, a large group of middle-aged and elderly men accused of playing a part in a drug trafficking ring based out of a South Memphis nightclub. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skirlock. Will I be a mucket? Oh. Shelby County deputies say the investigation turned over cash and cocaine, fentanyl, and guns. Our chief investigator, Jessica Gertler, spent the evening digging through court records to find out how cell phones fit into all of this. On this corner of East Macklemore 3rd, Shelby County deputies kept watch for nearly 20 months. It took a lot of man hours to piece this case. Y'all yeah, see that? <laughs> it was 16 old heads arrested in Shelby County. All the black men are going to jail. All of them get locked up. We don't have no men. It's already hard to find one. It's already hard to find one. Wow. He said it took them months to take the senior citizen <laughs> trafficking men down. Now, I can understand when you young, but old. Come on now. Together. Club Insight, a nightclub, the place, deputies say, was the center of a drug trafficking organization. What it seemed like that was their home base. That's where they were working out of. Chief Deputy Anthony Buckner says what? the operation resulted in 11 search warrants involving homes and storage units throughout Memphis and Shelby County where detectives showed us pictures of what they found and seized. $151,000, fentanyl, marijuana, and cocaine, 17 vehicles, and seven firearms. Wow. The also were able to disrupt the sale of about 24 kilos of cocaine. What? Which was valued at about a half a million dollars if it was sold on the streets. Court records, WRG investigators uncovered, state deputies identified... Y'all, <laughs> what are they serious, y'all? They even identified numerous of them. Got their name and everything. And then you got the informer telling on everybody. when they intercepted cell phone messages that included numerous conversations about purchasing and selling of cocaine. Deputies say the entire ring, these 16 men, mostly in their 50s and 60s, were indicted. 50 and 60? <laughs> Lord, have mercy if y'all don't go somewhere and sit it down. 50 and 60? Man, the judge shouldn't even have to say, don't, don't need to be trying to say nothing to y'all. On various drug charges. One of the men, 74 years old. What? 16 indicted individuals were convicted felons. Some have been arrested on drug charges before. It's unclear how these individuals might be connected to the nightclub. Shelby County property records show in 2019, someone with the same name as one of the suspects deeded the property over to a woman. We're working to find her while also trying to get in touch with someone at the club. We do know a lot of these sales originated from this location. Buckner says the club is still in business, but authorities are currently having conversations that could determine if it's a new 
two cents. It takes multiple uh, components coming together to make that declaration, uh, but certainly we're still having those conversations. The chief deputy says more details will come as these cases make their way through criminal court, shedding light on their efforts in the city and county. Wow. Wow. It's Christmas time and y'all going to jail. What in the world? It's, it's a, a little bit safer. You know, there's a little bit of calm uh, that exists in those communities today. Investigate. For your news leader, Jessica Gortler, WRG News Channel. Well, I be. Shabby County. You know this embarrassed. The children, uncles, granddaddies, brothers, all of y'all black men trying to go to jail. 16 arrested. And then you got a little dirt right here. It's, it's facing more charges. What is y'all, y'all really trying to go to jail? And then you got the king right here. Trafficking. Just like them old men's doing. He 55. And he been doing it for a long time. Y'all tell me what's going on, please. Down in the comment section. I'm out.